Hi and welcome to the first ever episode from Nerdscraft. My name is Daniel and today I'm going to be reviewing Don't Starve and doing a little bit of a tutorial to get new players started in the game. Uh, Don't Starve is produced by Clay Entertainment and these have made games, some that you might know, N, Mark of the Ninja or Shank. It's available on Steam, on the website or on the Chrome app web store which is what I'm using at the moment. Um, it's about fifteen dollars on the website which is roughly ten pounds or twelve pounds on Steam for English users. So I'll get started, I'll show you the characters. So this is Wilson. Now Wilson grows a magnificent beard as it says and that's a lot more useful in later game and you probably won't see that in this video. Um, this is Willow and she's immune to fire damage and she sets fires in the night so it's pretty much virtually impossible to die by the creatures that come and get you in the middle of the night which is annoying Wolfgang does more damage has more health, has more hunger which is useful Wendy has a visitor at night but I won't say any more on that because it's a little bit of a spoiler and it's, I'll let you discover that yourself WX78 can eat spoiled food without any penalty and Wickerbottom gets an extra tech level to start. Now those characters are all unlockable by experience so you get experience when you die or when you complete the game. Uh, these two characters however, Wes and Maxwell, you have to do certain things in the game to unlock. Now in adventure mode you'll come across uh, a structure that appears and if you just mine some statues the uh, monsters will appear and you kill them and you unlock Wes that way and Maxwell you unlock by completing adventure mode so I'll start as Wilson and I'll show you the customize world menu now this is useful for beginners because you can make the world a lot easier to survive in but just for me I'm going to slightly less hounds slightly more grass and that should be sufficient so now it's generating the world, and we'll get started on the game. So here we go, that's Maxwell. I'll put some music on my head. So your basic controls, you can play the whole game with the mouse if you wanted to, but every now and then I find it useful to use some of the other controls. So WASD moves your character, E and Q rotate the map, you can also do that with the arrow keys, and uh, yeah, a tab opens the map, which is useful. So the first thing you want to do in Don't Starve is pretty self-explanatory really, don't starve. You can see your hood here, uh, this is your timer. The yellow bit is day, which means there will be no real monsters in the daytime. Dusk, uh, some of the monsters start to come out, like spiders for example, which can get a bit hectic. And at night, you really need a light source, otherwise you're going to die. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to collect things. Now, things are pretty easy to collect. Uh, if you notice, I just click on grass and there'll be a little animation in the special time, and then he will collect whatever he clicked on. So one of the first things you need to do, looking at your hood, if you wish to survive, you, you really need some food, but since there seems to be plenty around, I'll show you. I always split the game into steps. Sci I use the science machines as essentially tasks to complete, so the first thing you want to create is a science machine, and it's good because it tells you all you need to find it, so gold, logs, stones. In order to get these things, you're going to need other tools. Oh, that's useful. I found a little skeleton. So everything in game is pretty much used to craft something else. So 
what I'm gonna do is just prepare for the first fight. Now, the first thing you want, one of the first things you want to do, I should say, oh, which is convenient, as it's just here, is uh, collect some flint. Now, flint will enable you to make a fire, a campfire, because logs need to make a campfire. However, you can't just punch down the tree like Minecraft, unfortunately. You need to create an axe. So you click on tools, click on axe, and that would create you an axe. However, I am going to make an axe and an axe. The Don't Starve Gods have been graceful enough to grant me enough flint. So I'll chop down this tree. Now to chop trees, you can click multiple times, or you can just hold down the left mouse button. Slightly less, slightly less strain on your hand. Clicking on. So I'll just collect the things. You can appreciate the music. Turn into dust now, so I want to really find somewhere that I'll, I'll, I'll be comfortable setting up a base. So, something I should mention while I've just made this actually is if you run on a path, you actually run faster, which is useful for obviously navigating the map, finding treasures or resources. Flint. There you go, Wilson is just informed me that it's getting late and I should make a fire. So I'm just making sure I've got plenty of materials to sustain me through the night. Now you can see that progressively over the time of the video that my hunger bar has gone down and there's a small arrow next to my sanity bar and at night time in the dark your sanity decreases. A useful thing, a useful tip I can tell you. You can see I'm collecting flowers, and flowers don't have that many uses in the game. But one of the good uses is if you collect 12, then you can create a garland, and a garland steadily restores your sanity over time. Which is a good little tip for if your sanity decreases. Now, various things decrease your sanity in the game. So, for example, darkness, uh, certain biomes, the graveyard will decrease your sanity, and also if it's raining, that decreases your sanity. There are various other things, like certain monsters that decrease your sanity when they attack you, but that's a bit more complex. I'm not going to cover everything in that video. So, I'm looking for somewhere to set up base now. A good place to set up base, uh, generally between a couple of biomes. You don't want to be stuck in one biome for most of the game. So, I'm going to check the map. There's three or four biomes there, so I'm going to head towards that. Set up my base. I'm gonna set it up these to these next to these trees so I can chop it so I've got something to do in the middle of the night. Otherwise stab around and you do nothing and I like to I like to keep this in this game. There we go. Just turn the night time and see that it gets dark. Now I don't want to go into the dark because so, this probably a good place to stop. But, well, I'll wait till the end of the night. So, I've almost completed my first night. And 
and uh, in the next video I'll show you how to cook food and make a few more tools and I'll hopefully create a science machine.